Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX Crew Dragon safely splashes down in Atlantic Ocean. Austro Engine AE300 series now in production. Airbus Helicopters unveils new H145 variant. Hello and welcome to your Monday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, SpaceX safely lands Crew Dragon in the Atlantic Ocean. Passing a major milestone on Friday, NASA is one step closer to its goal of restoring human spaceflight capability in America. About six hours after departing from the space station, Crew Dragon came down about 230 miles off the coast of Cape Canaveral. Demonstration Mission 1, which will begin on March 2nd, was an uncrewed flight test designed to demonstrate new commercial capability. Crew Dragon carried a lifelike test device named Ripley, outfitted with sensors to provide data on potential effects on humans traveling in the spacecraft. Crew Dragon's next mission is planned to take place this summer and will be an in-flight abort test. We'll be right back after these messages. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back! If you have any story suggestions for this or any of our other programs, website, or podcasts, just send an email to news spy at aero news.net. With so much exciting news coming out of the aviation industry, we bring you Around the Patch. HAI's 2019 Heli Expo has concluded. With high attendance numbers, attendees got a chance to enhance their skills through professional education courses. Many also chose to attend the military to civilian workshop and the manufacturer technical briefing, some even choosing to take the rotor safety challenge. Safran has obtained a validation of type certificate from the CAAC for its aerial 2H engine powering the Avicopter AC-312E. The aerial variant was selected in 2015 to power this helicopter and was certified by the EASA in April of 2018. Trans States Airline is now claiming to offer the highest new hire bonus package of any regional airline. With up to 60,000 in signing bonuses available to new first officers, the new bonus also includes an additional $10,000 for pilots with A-type rating. Trans States pilots can also earn $10,000 for each successful pilot they refer to the company. Universal Avionics has appointed Dror Yahab as its new CEO. This change comes as current CEO Paul DeHerrera retires after 25 years of service. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. When we return, Austro Engine A300 series is now in production. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. 
Diamond Aircraft's Astro engine program has started AE300 series production. With the release of its first AE300 and AE330 units late last month, Astro Engines plans to build some 100 engines by the start of 2020. The AE300 series has been the backbone for Diamond Aircraft, with variants logging 2,000 installations and over 2 million flight hours over the last 12 years. Airbus Helicopters has revealed a new version of its H145 light twin engine helicopter. This latest upgrade brings a new five-blade rotor and increases useful load of the helicopter by 330 pounds. The new bearingless main rotor design will also ease maintenance operations. This further improves the serviceability and reliability of the helicopter, while also improving ride and comfort for both passengers and crew. A new wireless airborne communication system helps secure transmission of real-time data. EASA certification of the H145 is planned for early 2020. Well, that's our program for today. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Get real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. I'll see you back here tomorrow for Airborne On Man.